guys um today's tutorial is going to be on envelope um i just wanted to be very fast so that we can get something done and without wasting much of our time and our data so i put my core draw um new show uh, new page rather that's my working space then what envelope is all about is just to give your text some kind of shapes like yeah let me put it that way yeah, some kind of shapes either irrespective of a certain object or irrespective of a certain shape so now i'm going to give you some example um i'm going to use the word um, tutorial tutorial so i want to give this a certain shape then i draw my rectangle i want to make use of this to create a certain shape so that, that i want this text to look like now what i'm going to do is um, i'll right click and convert to curve so from there i use my shape tools click here i want to curve this edge in a little bit this one to curve it in as well a little bit let me bring this one back small yeah this way so now i want this wall this text here to look like this so what i'm going to do is um i'm going to click on window go to sorry click on window go to dockers from dockers i locate effects from effects you see envelope or you use the shortcut ctrl f7 so i click on envelope so there are some shapes here already for the envelopes to be used uh, as in if you want to use this ones but i'm trying to make use of ones from here i will use one here then i'll use um another object that i'm going to use so now once i click on my text I'll come to this place create envelope from i click on it then i'll bring it here i'll just take the arrow there i want to create, create from this place so this this one look at it it's it look awesome so we you know you, you might have changed the font you wanted to use to do your work before you do all that so the text will just come out in this shape i think in in, um, in, in microsoft you have all these kind of templates text like this made already with microsoft but for you to use that kind of things in corridor you have control by it in corridor you can create it the way you want it to be created so now uh, i'm still going to make use of the word tutorial um for me not to be repeating it i'm going to duplicate this for me to duplicate i can right click i mean left click drag it anyway then right click there i don't know if you get what i did it's not a magic i drag the text using my left click to another place once I get there, before I leave the left click, I click on um, my right click, then I leave the two items. So you see, if you can't use that, it's easy. If you can't use that now, keep practicing it. Then or use Control D. If you use Control D to duplicate it, but I don't want. I want just one. So now I want to keep this one so I can keep using this. So with this one, I want to make use of any of these shapes here. Um, 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 let me use this one that is round. You know, you just need to click on it. That's all. So this is what you have tutorial. If you look at it, it's, it's, it's in it's, it make it look round. So so that is the beauty of envelope. Like I told you, um, let me use this one again. If you click, um, should I use this? So this one, the effect is not that much, but it still have its own effect. So those are the shapes there but if you look at it i want to have control over it like this one and those shapes are not here that's why i created it so you can create your shape on your own so now what i just want to do is um quickly i want to import an object that i downloaded you can download any of objects you want to use it on i use it on animal sometimes but here i downloaded this wine glass so i'm going to drag it in here you can use imports i drag it in so uh, um it's the same so from this place i click on this that's my shape to I, I want to shape i want to drag this thing here so that i can only use one i want to use one so this is the one i want to use so from this one the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to quick trace quickly to give me a shape like this but it remove it from it so this is a quick trace so um Sorry, it's look um something is happening here. Sorry, 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 sorry. It's it's taking out the shape. Before I quit traces, I can because I drag I try to remove a shape out of it. That is why I'm having that error. 
let me do it very well then I use my arrow key arrow right to drag it there I can convert this to bitmap so that it will be a single picture like this so now I can now right click and quick choose the size is big that is right so this one I could choose this one that is the image so the difference is that this one I can I can't change the color this is already because I downloaded it as a picture I can't change the color you see the color remains the same but this one I can change the color to anything I want so this is it here now what I'm going to do now is I want this word tutorial to be filled here except the the stand here just this field space I want it to have to be inside so now what am I going to do is um, I'm just going to draw the shape I can use my curry draw I mean my rectangle rather draw it here then um, hold my shift key click it along with this so here you have what you use to you know when you play with object when you want to remove some part of object from another one or you want to you, you want to convert them together you know you have a lot of those tools here sometimes we're going to talk about this fully but with time let me quickly use this this is what i want to use intersect once i use intersect this the remaining part of the glass that is inside the rectangle will be cut out as just that and so now from here i can write i can click on this one again then um i bend it so from because if i didn't bend it and i leave it the way it is my text is going to be made to fill it that way so for me to have it in a in a horizontal way like this in i mean sorry in a vertical way like this so I, I have to bend it vertically so now what i'm going to do is i'll click on this then click on um sorry create envelope from so once i click on it to give me this arrow then come in here and click it here so the shape will turn the tutorial will turn in form of this shape so what am i going to do now click on this one again and turn it back i hold my control key so once you hold your control key if you get to if it's get to stand very well it will move anyhow again so you get it accurate so now i'm going to click again drag it in there drag it in there so um it's down i can bring it up that is control pitch up we we'll bring it up so the color is not quite cool i can use white um i use my arrow key to align it very well you can look at this here yeah so i don't need all this i can delete them turn them again so i think this is quite short let me reduce this one so that the glass cup can see a space to stand then this is it so maybe you'll see something like this before or you see a text inside the bottle or you see a text inside the love shape you see a text inside something you're wondering like or you can even see someone something like a human hair the shape of human so you know practice then give me back a question this how short this um, I, I, did, I just want to go to the it's very interesting it's very very interesting as time goes on by the time we started creating something like flyer um banner like i'll be showing you how all this can be very cool there so but so that you won't have problem then that's why i'm putting this through my name remain myself i'm a very humble self ibrahim yahya you know on behalf of a1 tech hub uh, I, I tell you all please stay safe stay at home and keep praying so that god will save us from covid19 it will be our portion inshallah thank you very much i really enjoy having you guys